give a big round of applause for Google! Everybody, my name is Jessica. I represent Kumba Links. I express on my wrist. Don't fire my fist. And this piece in, is entitled When Your Physics Teacher Says, Better Hurry Back from the Bathroom Before I Lit You. <laughs> In my first two years of high school, I built a one room schoolhouse within myself. And I made it strong and sturdy and adaptable like slave palms. I convinced my limbs to be an Ivy League institution. Wouldn't let them push me out, but now I'm starting to realize I've Rahm Emanueled my own academy. Taking 54 of my bones and built a barricade. This is selfish healing. A reconstruction of the soul, but my friends are begging for schoolhouses of their own. Walter Payton College Prep, known for rigorous academics here, teachers enjoy reminding you that the school stands on what once was Cabrini Green, once a coffee-colored kingdom, but now it has all been choked out by coffee shops. The population of black kids at my school increases every year, and every year they are finding new ways to strangle us out. The lockers are crimsoning the stairs of muddy red like distant blood, like there's nooses waiting in the janitor's closet, like everything is wildcats in high school musical three, only two black kids in the major motion picture. Sounds a lot like my world studies class. I guess we're not all in this together. Freshman year, I had no intention on building this internal establishment. When a boy asks what black people and apples have in common, says they both look good hanging from trees, I laughed it off because I had no foundation. But come sophomore year, I begin to draw my blueprint, prepare myself for the upcoming season of ACT, and everyone in this school trying to test me. But junior year, I watched them throw bananas at a black boy. Saw him crumble in discomfort, they snapchatted his face with a monkey emoji, turned a cafeteria into a Jim Crow jungle, so now I'm finished placing pain on top of my pavement. I am almost a senior and I've decided to build a selective enrollment for the kids who can't find the stories of their people in the textbook, who wake up feeling more and more like Ruby Bridges every day here. They won't have to pack masks with their lunches or turn off Ebonic expression and flush them with Eurocentric undertones so the white kids don't Crayola them ghetto or loud or scantron them unqualified eyes. I am offering my body as a schoolhouse for the ones CPS has forgotten. Amen. And let my heart be the front door. I'm welcoming in all my friends for the first day of school. Let this poem be our ribbon-cutting ceremony. Thank you.